a two-horse race over in La Liga, and it's not the two teams you're thinking. Well, one of them, definitely not in it. Of course, Real Madrid running clear, but on the heels is Xavi. I will take a look next. We do today with quarter match number 22 over in La Liga, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe and get your bang. Hey, all things La Liga related, Baton Rose related, world football related. We're gonna all hear boys under one roost. That's right, Sevilla are five points adrift of Real Madrid, but they do have a game in hand, which of course could close that down to just two bloody points. We'll look at it all of it in a minute. Of course, big big shout out to my VRPs, they are the pay a tree on. So, big shout out to J Pod and Relay for, of course, joining the gang. That's right. I do appreciate the loving over on Patreon. If you want to join Jay and the gang, check out the link down below. Patreon.com forward slash Rover Seas. So, uh, let's take a look at it. Of course, uh, the recent matches over in uh, Spain, the Premier Liga, a.k.a. La Liga. Let's get into it and have a little look. Uh, of course, Osasuna picked up a 2 to win over Cadiz. Uh, of course, moving up to 12th at the table. Alaves uh, could only muster a nil-nil draw. Uh, still in a bit of trouble as well in the relegation zone as it stands. Uh, of course, meanwhile, Espanyol uh, did lose to Elche. Of course, a big win for Elche up to 16th. Now, Espanyol, a bit of a stuttered one there. Of course, Granada picked up a massive point against uh, Barcelona, who remain in 6th. Sevilla, a 1-0 win over Getafe. Of course, 3-0 win was Marpic. Villarreal picked up a 2-2 draw against Madrid. Atletico, of course, to you and me, who having a bit of a mare down to fourth, which, of course, given hope uh, for the likes of uh, Sociedad, for the likes of Barcelona, for the likes of, of course, Valacano as well. Oh, I've got outside ambitions for top four. Uh, take a look at Valacano, picked up a 1-1 draw against Real Betis. Of course, our third in the table. Uh, Madrid picked up a 4 1 over Valencia. Of course, middle of the road there. Of course, Sociedad, uh, of course, back to winning ways with a 1 1 over Sado Vigo. And Levante, uh, 2 0 win over Mallorca. Of course, for uh, Levante. Uh, where are they now on the table, of course? Um, I can't see it. Can't see them. Of course, they're bottom. That's why. A massive win for them, of course, to survive. Let's take a look at the table. Here it is. Of course, Real Madrid are five points over Sevilla. Game in hand. So do Real Betis, of course, but that is a massive gap between Sevilla and uh, third place Real Betis. Of course, so Atletico Madrid are in fourth. Sociedad in fifth. Uh, of course, if you just if they just finish in the top four, Barcelona or any of the boys, then you'll just you, you won't consider that gap. That gap will be irrelevant because you would have made Champions League football as well. Uh, but of course, Sevilla do have an outside sniff for the title. I do hope they do it as well. I'm, I'm going to be cheering them on all the way. Levante, it is, and Alaves going down as it stands. Of course, over in La Liga. Take a look at the leaderboard here for the prediction league. Take a look at it. Uh, enjoy it, Barcelona Easter Costas K kicking ass this past week. And of course, big big shout out to the VIPs. They're the other Patreons, of course, rearing their head on this one as well. Well, a big, big shout out to you guys. What about the overall grand scheme of things then for the for the second part of the season? Now, we've, all, we've got a master lead. We'll talk about that in a second. But this is the current state of play. Costas K kicking ass. Max and Gardi as well. Leading the charge at the moment, of course, over in the second half of the campaign. They're going to be having the name and lights a lot, uh, especially as to keep going. A big, big shout out again to the VIPs. They are the patrons. Now, the patrons will have access to the master lead. Of course, to see who's actually winning the prediction league. Who will be crowned uh, prediction league uh, king champion at the end or queen at the end of the season. But, of course, if you want to get that, they to get involved with the information down below, of course, uh, check out the old patreon.com. You want to get your name in lights, of course, and get your predictions in. Cut the force, just Espana is the way to go. Free to enter, good bit of fun, and of course, get your name in lights. Of course, let's take a look at the next round of matches. Now, we have a bumper episode here, of course, uh, because there's only a few games taking place this weekend, about six of them. And then we have a f uh, this is actually spanned two weekends, I believe. So, yeah, let me just double check. With, so, we're starting from this coming... Uh, it's actually a bit of a weird one. Uh, the thing is, one game this Sunday, uh, which is Elche uh, versus Villarreal. And then the next, uh, the other five games are next week. Uh, and, of course, the for the remaining bunch at the bottom there. We're talking about Espanyol, Betis, of course, uh, uh, Valencia. Those are, of course, on the 21st or 21st to 22nd of January, that sort of stuff. So, this is actually combining the, 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 the main components or the remaining components of match number 21 and 22. Hopefully that makes sense. So here are we uh, go. Kick it all off with Real Betis up against uh, Alaves. Of course, this will be on Tuesday, January the 18th, of course. Those are the 23 times in 988. Levels for Real Betis, 7 wins for Alaves. And we've got five draws, of course. Uh, Betis, though, just one win and four for them. 58% form against the Alaves side, who haven't won the last seven games. 25% form for them at the moment. Of course, last amount over in Betis was a 3-2 win. That was, of course, back in March 2021. Uh, of course, that was uh, last season. Uh, Betis, though, winning three of the bouts against Alaves. Um, yeah, of course, the 
a good little run. Of course, better speed to uh, did pick up a draw against Valacana. That's a decent result in the grand scheme of things. Up against the LMS side who did draw with Bilbao. Look at the odds. A two to one odds. Your better score to a six to five is your draw. Five to one is your way when that's Alaves on this one. Better score win this one. Two to win at home. No brainer. Uh, next, of course, we have uh, what have we got going on? Celta Vigo up against Osasuna on Wednesday, January the 19th. Now, these two sides played each other got in my eyes 25 times since 1994. 13 wins for Celta Vigo, six wins for Osasuna, and we got uh, six draws as well. Back to back defeats for, for Celta Vigo heading into this 58% form up against Osasuna side who have just won once at the past four games. 42% form for them in the moment as well. Last round, of course, over in Celta Vigo. It's a 2 1 win. That was back in April 2021. Uh, of course, Celta Vigo unbeaten. In fact, scrap that. Uh, Celta Vigo have just won once at the past. Five games against Osasuna. Uh, that's right. Of course, uh, Celta Vigo coming in on the back of a loss against Sociedad. Osasuna picking up a 2 to win over Cadiz last time around. Look at the odds here. Celta Vigo 2017 on for the Richie 5 to 2 is draw. 60 to 5 is your away win. That's, of course, Osasuna. Going to go with the hosts here with a 1 to win to take to the house. Uh, Cadiz up against Espanyol. Now, these two sides are blocking horns for the 10th time since 2005. Five wins for uh, Espanyol. Four wins for Cadiz uh, in the previous nine. Of course, just one win of four, though, uh, for Cadiz. 50% for because Espanyol side, winning two and losing two of the last four, 67% form over the grand scheme of things. Of course, coming at you though, over the last uh, little bit of time, uh, Cadiz did lose last time around, scrap that. No, no, keep it, keep it. I said, bloody keep it. They did beat, oh my gosh, I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a bit of all over the place here. Last time the pressure, the incompetitive league action in Cadiz was a 2 win for, for Cadiz. That's way back in 2006. It's been a long, long time, guys. However, coming at you, though, last time around, uh, Cadiz picked up a loss against Osasuna. Of course, uh, we're looking at here, uh, Espanyol picked up a 2-1 loss also against Elche. Goodness great, that was a mess. 9-4 uh, for uh, Cadiz on this one, 11-8 is your away, and 21-10 uh, is your draw. Good to go with Cadiz to get a point at this one, 0-0 in the end. Elche, they're going to be taking on Villarreal, of course, on Sunday. This, of course, this coming weekend and January the 16th. They've played each other 17 times since 1997. Six wins of Villarreal, four for Elche, seven draws. Just one win, though. Um, uh, scrap that. So one defeat. One defeat. Oh, my gosh. And the last five games for Elche, on a good bit of form for them, 58% form. I'm against the Villarreal side. Also, just one defeat. At the past six for them, 75% form for them at the moment as well. Last time around, of course, over in Elche, it was a 2-2 draw. That was back in uh, February 2021. Uh, Elche picking up a 2 win over Espanyol. Villarreal drawing with Atletico 2-2 last time look at the odds here 10-3 is your Elche 6-5 on is your Villarreal 5-2 is your draw Villarreal will nick this one as well with a 2 win and a clean sheet to boot uh, of course to kick on forward as well Getafe taking on Granada this is on Thursday January the 20th of course they are spread all over the place these games played each other 15 times since 11 3 wins to Getafe 7 wins to Granada and 5 draws just 1 uh, 2 wins 2 defeats and the past 4 for Getafe 50% form and back at the Granada side who have also um, uh, just one defeat the past 6 for them uh, of course a 58% form for Granada. Of course, coming at you though, last time around over in Getafe was a 1 0 win for Granada. That was, of course, back in uh, October 2020. Uh, of course, Getafe losing Sevilla last time around. Granada picking up a draw against Barcelona. Uh, well, look at the odds here 65 is your host. That's Getafe. 11 4 is your away win, uh, of course. And uh, 2 to 1 is your draw. Uh, going to go with a draw on this one. Getafe taking the point. Granada won't be too happy with that. Valencia, uh, they're going to be kicking on forward as well. Now, these are the games. Uh, what have we got? No, it's the final one. Valencia against Sevilla on Wednesday, of course, at 19th of January. At the, at the Mestala. Pleasure the 59 times since 1993. 25 wins for Valencia, 24 wins for Sevilla, and 10 draws. Just one and three, though, for Valencia at the moment. Six and four up against the uh, Sevilla side. Uh, just uh, five wins in the past six games. Um, a draw the other one, 92% form for Sevilla. Of course, last round in Valencia was a one and win for uh, Sevilla. They've actually won uh, five of them out so against uh, Valencia. And you can see just one goal in those last five games. Goodness gracious me. Uh, of course, Valencia did uh, lose to Real Madrid. That's around Sevilla. Picked up a one and win with Cafe. And they've got three clean sheets on the bounce. They look very, very good at the moment. Of course, uh, Valencia 11-5 for the victory. 11-5 is just draw 5-4 to is your way win. That is Sevilla on this one. Sevilla will nick this one too. And when they'll concede a goal though, uh, but it'll be a big three points for Sevilla in the bag. And then next up, of course, here we go. Uh, are the games that are scattered into next week. In fact, if I just go over here, uh, of course, and then look forward to week number 22, we're going to kick it all off with... Uh, a game that's not even there. What you there it is. Atletico up against Valencia. Now let's take a look at that one then, shall we? Of course, played each other 61 times since 1993. 22 wins for Atletico, 20 wins for Valencia, and 19 draws. Atletico, though, coming into this. Um, beat the last three, 42% form for them, of course. Valencia just one win and three for them, 67% form as well. This is at the Wanda Metropolitano on the 22nd of January. Of course, last round of, uh, in uh, in Madrid was a 3 1 win for Atletico. That was back in January 2021, around about this time last season. A 3 1 win for them as well. Atletico did draw with Villarreal last round. Of course, Valencia did lose to Madrid. 
Madrid. But of course, they'll be taking on Sevilla uh, this week as well. Do I have odds on this one? I don't think I do. Do I? No, I do not. Of course, there is a Coke Del Rey going on. Super Cup as well. There's all kinds of nonsense uh, between uh, 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 Valencia's last get next games. Uh, so, uh, yeah, got no odds on this one. But my odds will say if Let's go. We'll bounce back and give them a 2 0 win again. Keep the dream alive for them at least for at least Champions League football as well kicking on forward uh, what else do we have on the agenda we have of course uh, Alaves they'll be locking horns uh, with Barcelona of course on the 23rd of January now these two sides have played each other going to my eyes around about 28 times since 1999 four wins Alaves 23 wins for Barcelona and four draws Alaves though without a win at least six games of course Barcelona just one defeat past six of them 67% form for them at the moment of course uh, last round in Alaves was a 1-1 draw back in 31st of October 2020 um, Alaves haven't uh, beaten Barcelona in at least the last six occasions Alaves picking up a draw against Bilbao last round. Of course, Barcelona did lose the Super Cup semi final against Real Madrid last time around. Of course, no odds on this one, I don't think. So uh, it's in your belly. My belly will go with a 2 0 win for Barcelona to take it to the house. Kicking on forward, we have Espanol up against Real Betis, of course, on that same match day, which of course, match number 22. This will take place on the 21st of Jan. Uh, 48 times they've played each other since 1994. 18 wins for Espanol, 12 for Real Betis, and 18 draws. Uh, four wins in the past six games for Espanol. Nice 67 form for them in the moment. Up against Real Betis side, who are just, of course, one win in four games. 58% uh, form as well. Last round, of course, over uh, for Espanyol. In Espanyol, that was a 2 2 draw way back in December 2019. It was in La Liga. Espanyol losing to Elche last round. Of course, uh, um, Real Betis picking up a draw against Vallecano. No odds here, of course. Uh, it is early doors in that department. Going to go with the one win for Real Betis on this one to make it back to back wins, back to back clean sheets, and of course, bounce that back, of course, and maybe maintain a push for Champions League football as well. Kicking off forward, though. Forward is Granada up against Osasuna, of course, on match number 22 as well. These two sides will lock horns on the 23rd of January. They played each other, corner of my eyes. It's 19 times since 2011. Eight wins for Granada, five wins for Osasuna, and six draws. Just one defeat, about six there for Granada at the moment. Of course, uh, Osasuna just one win and four for them, 42% form as well. Last time around over in Granada was a two win for Granada, uh, of course, back in uh, January 2021, around about this time last season as well. Uh, just one defeat in the past five games for uh, Granada over Osasuna. Uh, so they do like playing them as well. Granada picking up a draw against Barcelona last round. Osasuna picking up a 2 0 win over Cadiz. Uh, Going to go with Granada here. It's 2 1 win at home to keep on their keep and keep on pressing on as well. Sevilla up against Celta Vigo in a bit of a crunch clashing one this one. Uh, on, of course, match number 22. Now these two sides have played each other. According to my eyes, uh, we'll get to that in us. Where are you? Where are you? Of course, Sevilla. Taking on Celta Vigo, of course, on the 22nd of January. Now, these two sides played each other 41 times since 1903, 17 wins apiece, and we got seven draws. Of course, Sevilla winning that uh, five, of the, five of the past six, 92 percent form up against the Celta Vigo side, back to back wins as well, 58 percent form as well. Sevilla picking up a 4 2 win over Celta Vigo last round, it was back in November 2020. They actually won uh, three on the spin against uh, Celta Vigo as well. Uh, Celta Vigo picking up a, a loss against Sociedad last round, Sevilla picking up a 1 1 over Getafe. They'll also take on uh, Matey Boys here, Valencia, in a bit of a big, big, big Busy few days. Going to go with a win for Sevilla as well to maintain their outside ambitions for the title. Villarreal, of course, locking horns up against Mallorca as well on match number 22. This will be on the 22nd of January as well, 2022. Played each other 31 times since 1997. 13 wins for Villarreal, th uh, 9 wins for Mallorca. And we've got 9 draws. Just one defeat the past 6, though, for Villarreal. 75% form. Up against the Mallorca side, just one win in 4 for them. 42% form for them at the moment. Of course, last time out over in uh, Villarreal was a, a 1 win for Villarreal. Uh, of course, the Wayside hasn't won this game in a long, long time. I think the last time they wasted one was when Villarreal beat the Mallorca 2009 in La Liga. Of course, coming at you though, Villarreal picking up a 2 2 draw against Atletico. Of course, Levante losing, uh, beating Mallorca last time around as well. No odds on this one. Once again, going to go with the 2 0 win for the hosts, Villarreal as well. Vallecano, been fantastic at home. Uh, up against Athletic Bilbao side, who've been a bit wobbly all over the place as well. So they are locking horns on the 23rd of January. They played each other 29 times in the past six wins of Vallecano, 14 wins for Bilbao, and we got uh, nine draws. Just one defeat of the past four, uh, five games for uh, Vallecano. 58% form up against the Bilbao side. Also, one defeat in the past five. 58% form for them as well. Last round in Velicano was a 1 1 draw. Back in October 2018, it's been a while, guys. Of course, Valacano picking up a draw against Betis. Of course, Bill Bab picking up a draw against Alaves as well. Going to go with Valacano, the host here with the 1 1 to keep up their fantastic home form and, of course, maintain their push for European football. Into the final three now we go, and it is uh, Real Madrid up against Elche, of course, on match number 22. Uh, of course, Real Madrid, very, very busy elsewhere. 
Play each other seven times since 2013. Six wins for Madrid. One draw. Nothing for Elche, of course. Winning four of the past five there for Madrid at the moment. 75% form. And because the Elche side also uh, just one defeat the past five to them. 58% form for them at the moment. Of course, last round at the Bernabeu was a 2-1 win for Madrid back in March 2021. Uh, Madrid winning uh, three of the last four. Uh, of course, there was a draw as well in Elche uh, not too long ago. Of course, Madrid beat Barcelona last time around in the Super Cup semi-final. And of course, Elche picked up a 2-1 win over Espanyol. No odds on this one. Going to go with the host here with the 2-1 win to keep on keeping on. And of course, it's the final two. It is my boys at Sociedad up against Getafe. And it is a must-win game for Sociedad uh, to keep up their ambitions for outside Champions League football, maybe uh, to settle for Europa League. 27 times they've played each other since 2004. 7 wins for Sociedad, 12 wins for Getafe. And we've also got uh, 8 draws. Just one defeat the past 5 for Sociedad at the moment. 58% form against the Getafe side. Winning 2 and losing 2 in the last uh, 4 as well. Last round in Sociedad. was a 3-0 win for Sociedad. Sociedad unbeaten in the last 3 games. Up against Getafe, picking up 2 wins and a draw. Sociedad beaten Salda Vigo last time around. Of course, Sevilla beating uh, Getafe last time around as well. So, uh, again, no odds. Odds go in with me. I'm going to go with the Sociedad to take to the house. 2-1 win. And again, keep the heat at the top end of the table. And then finally, we have Levante up against Cadiz. Levante doing all right. Cadiz not, not so much. Of course, played each other 11 times to 2004. Four wins for Levante, one for Cadiz. Six draws, of course. Just one win in six for Levante at the moment. 25% form. I'm against the Cadiz side. Actually, uh, just one win in four for them. 50% form as well. Last round over in Levante was a 2-2 draw back in May 2021. Uh, of course, the last three matches have been draws between these two sides. In fact, the last four, five, even the last five competitive matches between the two sides have all ended in draws. Of course, Levante picked up a 2 win over, two win over Mallorca. And of course, Cadiz is losing to Osasuna last time around. No odds on this one. May odds say it is on the road. Uh, Levante's form uh, is a little bit wobbly despite where they are on the table. That's my take on it in a bit of a bumper edition. We've got 21 and match number 22 here to make sure you get picks in. To get your name in likes next time around, a good chance for you to maybe end the month as predictor of the month. If you do fantastic here, you'll be in tip-top shape. But that's it, my friends. If you consider yourself a Spanish football expert, a European football expert, and any expert in any leagues around the world and want to get into content creation, get involved with me now. Of course, put your name in the comment section. Of course, DM me that way, and of course, we'll uh, get the party started. And of course, we'll try and bring you in to the channel. Uh, on you know, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. Of course, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk about it over Zoom and all that kind of stuff to kind of see where we're going to go with this. But anyway, if you are interested, let me know down below. Of course, smash your thumbs up, smash your subscribe, check it out down below. I'm also on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. But until then, boys, we're done.